Hobart tonight. Angela Kelly joins us live from Mayflower Greenhouse with more. Hi, Ange. Hi, guys. Well, take a look at this pumpkin. Now that is a jack-o'-lantern. It has very Fox nice. 11 on it. Love it. Well, that's right. Tonight here at Mayflower Greenhouse in Hobart, they're hosting their annual pumpkin fest. And Chris Bino is here to tell us more about it. What do people experience? Um, well, it's an annual event that we do evidently every year. Um, for 10 bucks, you can come out and grab a pumpkin, uh, enjoy some Titletown beverages and uh, food. And we've got plenty of people on hand to help you along with your pumpkin creation. Yes, that's right. And you can sign up um, by going to fox11online.com and clicking on the Good Day Wisconsin tab. But part of the event is also seeing what experts like Chris have already created using a ton of power tools. So I'm going to flip off the light here and look at these beautiful jack-o'-lanterns. Tell us how you did the Fox 11 pumpkin. The Fox 11 one was a template that I, I drew on off of a template and I actually used a jigsaw and I did the rest by hand with, uh, with a razor knife. This one is my favorite. Uh, this one I, I actually just freestyle drew onto the pumpkin and uh, used a jigsaw and a drill. This one's really cool. Um, this one I'm just about three quarters of the way done with. I used a router to take the skin off, drill, and a jigsaw. Okay, and the next one? And this one's just a jigsaw. This was a freestyle I did in about two or three minutes. Okay, <laughs> I have to point out the ones that you have um, hanging on the walls back here. Tell us what you did here. These are masks that you, you take the, the sawzall and you cut the pumpkin in half and then you core it out and just uh, carve that way and you can hang them on the wall and you actually get two for one. Two for one, I love it. That is such a great idea. And I wanna point out too, I'll pop this light back on. Um, these are great, I always, I mean, I hate to admit I've always used the old fashioned candles, but this is certainly a safe right, way to go. Right, you can just buy those at a hardware store and they just click on and off and actually last for mm -hmm. quite a while. Nice oh, stuff. Yeah. Well, Chris, Smart. Chris is going to, yeah, definitely. And Chris is going to stick around for us in our, in our next hour. We're actually going to get some of these power tools going and uh, he's going to show us his carving skills. So that'll be fun, guys. Back to you.